Now I'm going to sand it with uh, two different grades of paper. First, uh, 100 and then about a 180. Break all these corners here. And then I may have to fill a few little uh, discrepancies that we got going here where uh, the glue lines were. And then over here of all places for my uh, dowel pin to have ended up and it's right here on the shoulder that plug dowel pin so I gotta fill that up a little bit and uh, then and then sand that uh, you know no matter how careful you try to plan some things that's what happens so I will fill that and then uh, and next time you see this will be over on the bench and we will attempt to separate it Well, the next thing we need to do is to split the pattern. You recall that this uh, started as two pieces, and uh, remember I glued it together with a piece of paper in between, and you remember from your eighth grade shop class when you did turning on the lathe that you probably did something similar to this, and uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand, but I'm just working my Boy Scout knife down, and you can see it separating. And I'm going to do that the full length here, but i got to put the camera down in order to do it. Okay, now the project is separated. And you can see that I didn't put any uh, glue right in the center here where I knew it wasn't necessary. But it, it did separate uh, quite well, but I, uh, my worst nightmare is always that maybe I can't get it apart and the whole thing is ruined. So I'm going to uh, install some dowel pins in one on the one side, taper them ever so slightly, and then they will uh, align with uh, the other dowel pins. Another step that I have to do, and I may not show on camera, is these core pins are longer than necessary, and I have uh, laid out a line on each end. I'm going to saw off the waist, and then I'm going to put it on the belt sander and put about a five degree tape around there. And that'll go for both sides. I already laid that off on the lathe. And uh, that will get rid of most of these center holes, I hope. If not, I'll have to fill them. Then I'm going to put uh, a fillet in here, and we'll do that with body putty, I believe. And uh, there'll be fillets in here no need for it here because let's remember now these are core prints on the end and those will be used to support this sand core and you can see now that it isn't quite as long as what we thought it's going to be just right and remembering that this portion here is only used to hold it in the chuck while we bore it later on we bore the the actual cylinder uh, hole. So it's shaping up quite nicely. It's been sanded and filled. Pretty smooth, smooth as it needs to be. You know, if Hella hates to spend too much time on this because I'll probably only make one casting from it. Then there's one other thing that I have to do and that is I have to put the saddle on it. Now the saddle, if I can show you from another casting, yeah, this perhaps isn't the best example to show you, but uh, there's going to be an extended portion on here that will be used for the uh, oscillating portion. So we've still got more to do. Also, I'm starting to work on the heads. Yeah, I've already got that laid out on Baltic birch. wasn't quite thick enough, so I got another one being glued up here. Very simple, but we'll get back to that as well. I cut out uh, two circles. Actually, it's one. I guess you saw me laminate this before. And this is a tapered plug glued on there. And all we've got to do is put a fillet in there. This is uh, going to be the lower plug at the bottom of the uh, engine. Now, I'm working on. Uh, the saddle. Let's, let's call this the saddle for lack of a better name because it kind of rides up on there. But the way I made this was simply to uh, saw this out on the bandsaw. And I used uh, 
just a 2x4. I'm getting sick of working with that hard maple because I knew there'd be a lot of sanding to do on this. I simply cut out three of these on the Delta 12 inch or 14 inch bandsaw and then uh, they're ready to sand. By the way, you need to have two of these uh, saws. There's one with a quarter inch blade and then you need to have one with a 3 8 blade too. Don't tell me they cost too much. They cost approximately 56 packs if you buy them used. Not the beer, but the band saws. You need two, maybe even three. I then carefully sanded these down to the layout line so all three of them came to a pretty good match. And then we needed to have a bit of an angle on this. And uh, I did that by putting it on the Delta 6 inch belt sander at 3 degrees and I put a angle on there. There's also an angle on the end. I guess it would be like this. And the three of them were trimmed so that they would fit in here. Now the next step I'm going to glue all three of them together. One, two joints. I'll do that uh, separately and then uh, after that's glued and uh, the glue has dried then I'm going to sand these again on the belt sander at uh, three degrees on both sides then the whole assembly will be ready to glue onto the uh, cylinder cast uh, pattern I will then fill all of this with body putty so that there's a nice smooth fillet this is going to be a little bit too high. Might be a chance of shrinkage there, so I will probably remove about an eighth of an inch or more uh, on the top. If I need any more cut down, I will machine it when it is in lumen, uh, made of aluminum. We're getting to where we're about done with this.